Did you know that the best avenue to generate sales in the current digital age is through email marketing? And it's not only the best way to generate sales, it's also great to nurture your audience of art collectors with regular updates about your latest works, upcoming events, and special promotions. In this video, we'll be exploring my top three ways to increase your email list as an artist, helping you tap into the power of email marketing to grow your art business and strengthen your relationship with your audience. For more videos on all things related to art business, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to get notified every time I release a new video. I'm Martha and I worked in the contemporary art world for over a decade. I worked my way up in my career, working in contemporary art galleries in London and became a gallery director. I now help artists based all over the world to create wildly successful art businesses. Before we dive into today's video, if you would like to work with me inside of my group program for artists that want to create more freedom from their art while having more freedom to create, you can click the link in the description below now to apply to work with me. So let's get to today's video. Let's first talk about why email marketing is an absolute game changer for any professional artist. In a world full of social media platforms, algorithm and fleeting attention spans, having a direct line to your audience is pure gold. An email list is like your VIP pass to engage with your audience on a deeper level. You can share your artistic journey with them and let them in on exclusive content and offers. Emails are not affected by algorithms like the social media posts are, so it will stand the test of time. Imagine having a group of subscribers who are eagerly awaiting your updates, new artwork releases and insights into your creative process. That's the power of email marketing. It's personal, it's direct, and it's a place where you can more easily turn subscribers into art buyers. So now let's delve into the process of building your email list and transforming it into a valuable asset that generates income in your art business. So number one, leverage your artist website. So your website can play a pivotal role in growing your email list. Let's dive deeper into how you can harness the full potential of your website to capture subscribers. So first things first, you want to first ensure that your website's design is simple and visitors can easily navigate through all your different pages. A cohesive and easy to navigate website not only captivates visitors, but also allows them to access the information that they were looking for. So whether that's viewing your available artworks, purchasing one or finding your contact details so that they can essentially get in touch with you. By the way, let me know in the comments right now if you'd find it helpful if I filmed a video on how to create an optimized artist website. All right, so to really leverage your artist website, you wanna make sure to add a join my mailing list form somewhere on your website. This is the simplest way to grow your email list, but something that can be easily dismissed or done incorrectly. I would recommend that you place it prominently somewhere where it can't be missed, such as your homepage, your footer, or even in the side panel on all of your blog posts. You can also add a pop-up form to pages on your website, such as your homepage, but don't go crazy with the pop-ups set them up so that they don't show to people who've already signed up before. Otherwise, it will really annoy people. So keep it user friendly. Remember, visitors who land on your website are already interested in your work in some capacity. So this is a perfect opportunity to engage them further by inviting them to join your exclusive community of subscribers. It's also a really good idea to incentivize visitors to join however you see fit. So maybe you offer a downloadable wallpaper of your art for their desktop or your phone background, or you could even offer a PDF sharing your creative journey or an exclusive video tour of your studio. And make sure the value of what you're offering them is clear. Let them know that by subscribing, they're gaining access to something special that can't be found anywhere else. Navigating through the subscription process should be smooth and intuitive. So keep the form short and simple, asking for only their name and their email address. The easier it is for them to join, the more likely it is that they will take that step. Number two, drive traffic to your social media platforms. Now let's dive into social media, which is the best place to connect with a global audience and build your email list. Social media platforms like Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, all offer a dynamic 
stage to showcase your art and draw in potential subscribers. The key here is to create interesting posts that not only showcase your work, but also tell a story. So you wanna be sharing snippets of your creative processes from beginning to end and anything in between. Let your followers peek into your studio and feel the passion behind your work. Alongside your visuals, you wanna craft captions that prompt engagement. Ask questions, share anecdotes about your inspiration, or even share tips. The goal here is to spark conversations that lead to a deeper connection. And from here, you can then add a sign-up form directly in your LinkedIn bio page, as well as regularly sharing the benefits of becoming a part of your mailing list through your stories. A strategy that's been really helpful for my clients is previewing their upcoming artist newsletter and mentioning it in their stories while prompting followers to sign up before actually sending it out. It could be as simple as adding a question box sticker to one of your stories and asking your followers to type in their email address if they would like to receive your email newsletter. Or you could even go on video and share a preview of what they'll find in that week's or month's artist newsletter to compel them even more to join the email list and receive the full content. Consistency is key when it comes to social media. So set a schedule for posting interact with your audience and always respond to comments. This active engagement builds a loyal community that's more likely to subscribe to your email list. I have a whole video dedicated to Instagram strategies, which you can click above here. The link is also somewhere in the description below. Now this last tip may be obvious to some of you, but it's absolutely key in turning your email list into buyers in your art business. So number three, regularly engage with your subscribers. While your initial goal is to get people to join your email list, you then want to be sending out regular emails to your list in order to keep nurturing them and keeping them engaged. It's likely that they've also joined other artists' email lists, which is why it's so key to keep popping up in their inboxes. This will help you to stand out and get noticed. I have a free resource which includes 50 email subject lines specifically for artists, which is going to help you to stand out and increase your open rates. So you can download it by heading to the link in the description below now. Make time to write really good artist newsletters so that your current subscribers are compelled to share them with their friends and others in their own communities. Also, an important rule in marketing is if you want someone to do something, you need to tell them. So if you'd like your subscribers to share your artist newsletter with others, make sure you tell them in your artist newsletter. It's just as important to spend time growing your email list as it is to nurture those potential buyers. So to recap, we've explored the importance of email marketing as a bridge between your art and your audience. We've delved deep into my top three strategies that can help you to build and leverage your email list from crafting an easy to navigate website with clear call to actions to leverage social media to grow your list. And finally, regularly engaging with your current subscribers once they've made the important step of joining your list. Remember, these strategies aren't just about numbers, they're actually about building a community that relates to you and your artwork. As a reminder, if you would like to work with me inside of my group program for artists that want to create more income from their art while having more freedom to create, you can click the link in the description below now to apply to work with me. I do hope you found this video helpful. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, do let me know by liking it, commenting down below and subscribing to my channel and I'll see you in my next video.